Hey guys, Genma the Samurai here, and welcome back to this part of Golden Sun. Okay, so, last time we fought against Satras, but failed at stopping the lighthouse from being lit. That said, there is healing water coming from this lighthouse, and we're going to collect some of that right now, actually. So, uh, let's, uh, grab some of that healing water, and we can just put in this bottle here. Um, that's what we needed the bottle for. Um, yeah, this part we're actually going to be heading over to Kolima, and we're going to be taking care of that quest, so prepare for some jump cuts. Um, yep. So I'll see you guys in a second. I actually wanted to show off also that these shops are now open. Um, they now are selling artifacts. Um, so we're going to buy a Blessed Ankh for uh, Mia. Um, we're going to equip that to her, and then we're going to sell her Witch's Wand. And, uh, yeah, so let's give this game ticket to Garrett, and I'm gonna be buying some more stuff, um, and then we're gonna jump cut back over to Billabin. So, see you guys there. And welcome back, guys! Okay, so, um, we're gonna be heading over to Kalima Forest, um, where we're going to be taking care of the whole Tret Curse thing. Um, so yeah, there's reasons why I waited this long to take care of this, um, you'll see later, uh, but, oh, these trees fell, oh boy, well, let's, uh, read their mind, see what's going on. They crossed the river after pushing us down, this is terrible, how could anyone do that? Oh boy. She'll be swept downstream if she isn't pulled to shore. Oh man, one second, mind read. Ah, please, anyone, please help. Okay. Let's pull her towards us. Come on. Oh, man. Thank you. You saved me from being washed downstream. No problem, tree lady. Alright. But, yeah, um... You actually can, uh... Run into a bad thing if you... Well, I mean, it's not really a bad thing, but, like... Yeah, take care of that when you see it, guys. Just saying. If you guys want a clear conscience, I guess. <laughs> uh, anyway, let's uh, push this log right here. Come on. Alright. Um, I'm trying to figure out where I'm supposed to go next. <laughs> uh, yeah, so this is the Kalima Forest. Um, I haven't actually gone here yet. Um... We went to the actual, like, village, but not the forest. So, this is where we need to go to be able to take care of the Tret thing. Um, the enemies here actually are really easy, and that's because I think we were supposed to go here first. Um, but, being that it's us, um, we're doing it this way just because we're gonna save time. I say us because you guys watch it. I don't know why I defend myself a lot for, like, no reason. It's like, you guys should be able to figure it out. I don't know. Anyway, <laughs> let's use catch. Let's get that net. There we go. Um, those are really good items um, now, like at this point in the game. In fact, I think I should just give... Uh, let's give them to Ivan. Because he's the fastest one of the group. Um, so he'll be able to just use them on us. Um, that's just my plan anyway. Um, I did... Uh, upgrade a bunch of our gear and stuff while I was at email um, so now we have a bunch of uh, better weaponry and stuff also um, the items that show up in the shop um, will show up at every shop that you've been to before so um, yeah if you see a bunch of cool items artifacts and stuff don't worry you don't need to be at that specific shop to be able to get those items so um, yeah it, it, it's pretty well made that way um, anyway, let's push this log down here. Push this one back. Um, yeah, there's a lot of log puzzles here, so... Just keep that in mind. Um, I have uh, played through this game a lot, so I know how to handle a lot of these puzzles. Um, I'm now realizing that some of these puzzles aren't as straightforward as they would seem. Like, after watching uh, Snivy Syndiquil doing uh, some blind playthroughs on... Uh, Twitch. <laughs> so hey, check out his Twitch sometime. You'll be able to see um, some of the craziness that's gone on every once in a great while. <laughs> um, mostly plays Sonic and stuff. But just check him out. He he's a fun guy. Um, but anyway, <laughs> he is a mushroom. <laughs> oh, that 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 was that was a good joke. 
That was a good joke, right? That was a good joke. No, it wasn't. Um, I should have read that sign. <laughs> so let's see. Do not touch floodgate switch. Well, my bad. Anyway, <laughs> let's go up here. Um, yeah, so there are a bunch of these logs. Um, we're gonna push, uh, this one first. And then we're gonna push this. Yoink. Yoink. And yoink. <laughs> yep. Um, these puzzles aren't that bad. I'm actually, like, re-recording some of this because I think not recording for a week threw me out of a loop, guys. Because, <laughs> um, I went to record today and I was like, ah, everything I say is goofing up. It was really weird. Um, but yeah, either way, let's pull that switch, and there we go. So let's head up here, come on, there we go, logs, boop, boop, and boop. So what is in this chest? A fur coat. You didn't need to get that item, um, I got it because I want to give it to Garrett, just cause. Um, yeah, it, it's pretty useful, um. So, yeah, I would go for it, just cause. Um, anyway though, let's flip the switch again. And there we go. So, we're gonna have to push everything back in place. Um, I believe if you just leave the area and come back, everything will reset. Um, I'm not gonna do it that way, just because, I don't know, I'm gonna do it the long way. Cause I feel like it. You mad? <laughs> uh, I think I only need to push one, and I think I'm good. Yeah, I'll leave the other one, because at this point, that's all I really need to get across. Um, so yeah. Boop. If you uh, decide not to go for that item, the only log I think you really had to move was like the top left one. Um, but yeah, I wanted to get the thing, so... Whatever. Oh. Interesting timing, random encounters. Right as I was coming up to talk to one of the trees. Thank you. I'm glad you chose to do it then. Ah. <laughs> yeah, I think I'm starting to feel some of your pain there, Ash. <laughs> Ash to ashes. Um, if you guys watching this later don't know what I'm talking about, check out his blind FF7 LP. Um, but anyway. Who are you? Huh? Oh, you are the ones who resisted Tret's glamour. I sense great warmth within you. Oh, okay. If you came to rescue Tret, you are already too late. Soon Tret will die, and we shall wither away without him. Leave now, before this forest is destroyed. Um, why? I mean, we're not exactly tree people, so is it just that the whole everything inside the forest will die? Is it the- I don't know. That's probably it. Dot dot dot. Um, he will not speak to you, child. I control all in Tret's realm. Oh my. Well, we're gonna have to climb up this vine and see what we can do. Tret tree. Yep. So, this is kind of the second dungeon-ish type place in this game. Um, as you can see, there are these leaves here. Um, we're gonna do something about that in a second. Let's uh, head left and see if there's anything over here. Oh, no. Ah, uh, random encounters. I'm gonna be honest, I don't like them. I really don't. Um, but, um, I understand why they're there. And I kind of just, whatever, you know what I mean? Um, but yeah, I don't like random encounters. I don't know about you guys, I just don't. Um, okay, Earthquake, Flare, Plasma, and Frost. I'm just going to use Synergy because, screw it. Boop. 
And there we go. But yeah, um, I don't like random encounters. Like, I, I can deal with them because I'm just used to that in RPGs. Um, but I don't think they're good. I don't think it's good level design. Um, and if you're wondering why I'm just kind of walking around aimlessly, guys, it's more along the lines that um, there is a gin located in this place. Um, so I'm trying to get it. Um, yeah. Also, if you notice a few weird gla graphical glitches in this, um, it's because I'm emulating the game to record it. Um, I don't really like how the GameCube player, um, like, has that one weird border thing. Like, I know the actual graphics are represented better, I just don't like the border. Um, so that's why I'm emulating it. Um, that said, um, yeah, there are some weird graphical glitches. Um, like, when you get a random encounter inside the tree, um, things that are black just light up I don't know why uh, but it's a thing um, and also on the world map where it's all twitchy and stuff it's 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 all the emulation glitches uh, it's you know yeah maybe it's in the original I just never noticed it but I I mean not the world map thing the world map thing I know looks stable when you play it on an actual Game Boy Advance so I don't really know. But yeah, let's uh, go across that flower there. So basically if you want to go for that item there that I did, which was the healing ring, um, it basically will just mean you're going to have to fall to the first floor. Um, the gimmick of this place, if you didn't guess, is basically hopping between flowers, or leaves, not flowers. Um, now, that's not really that bad of a thing. Just keep in mind also that there's spiders. You know, just don't jump on spiders. That's a good one. And, uh, yeah. <laughs> I don't even know if that's like a physically, like, wouldn't you kill the spider just by jumping on it? Like, looking at the size of it inside of there. I mean, you can't see it right now, but like when I'm inside, when you see them, you'll know what I'm talking about. Um, but anyway, here's the gin. So we're gonna do our usual strategy. Offensive, but not too offensive. So let's create a barrier. Let's, um, boost party attack. Um, attack. Uh, and then we're gonna use, yeah, attack. Granite. Boop, 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 boop. See how quickly we can kill this thing. Forge. Okay, he doesn't seem to do that much damage. Warple Slash again! Oh, cool. Alright. Wow, he's not dead yet. Weird. I would've thought we would've taken him out earlier just because we're a much higher level for this point. Um, just because we went to Mercury Lighthouse first. <laughs> but whatever. We now have the Jupiter Gin Breeze, and it uh, increases the party's resistance. Um, and now that I have it, um, I'm gonna have to showcase what it does. So, let's go into a random battle, but let's heal first. Uh, okay, there we go. Alright, random battle, come on, come on, come on. You know I want it, you know I want it. Ah, jeez. Come on, I'm, I'm walking around spastically, thank you. Okay, everyone defend, we're gonna kill these things like really quick at this rate. Alright, so yeah, that increases our resistance. I'm gonna just sit through a turn of this. And then the next turn we're gonna use Ivan's summon. Alright, Ivan is the fastest one, so I'm just gonna have everyone attack. Atlanta, there we go. Oh man. All of these summons actually look amazing on Dark Dawn, the DS one. Like, you guys really should get that. I mean, it's not like 
as good as this game or the second game by any means, guys. Like, Dark Dawn has some serious problems. But that said, it's still a great game. Like, I, I, I wholeheartedly advise it, guys. It, it is a very fun game. Um, but anyway, let's go over here. And they still need to make Golden Sun 4, but you know what? I don't even care anymore. <laughs> uh, that moment, guys. I feel like the FF7, like, fans. Like, it's like, you know what? No. It's, it's, I'm done. You know? Whatever. Maybe not. I'm gonna build a fan base anyway and see what happens. That's my goal, guys. You may say, oh, but you're just a small YouTuber. It's like, you know what? Yeah, pretty much. But I'm gonna do my best. Because these games need some attention. I don't even care. I'm rambling about nonsense because random encounters. You know, it, it's literally just speeders. Speeders. They're just there. They spit in your face. That's that's what spitters do. They they go up in your face, tell you your hopes and dreams are a lie, and and the, yeah, they're Camelot. <laughs> oh. Yeah. Anyway, I digress. I am in a weird mood today. I'm just tired. Like I don't know. Um, but yes, as you can see up there, kind of, there's a spider. We're gonna ignore him. Fall in the middle. Yep. Booyah. And now we, were, we are in the bottom of the tree. Um, as you can see, there is Tret's core. So, we're gonna go talk to him. Hmm. Hmm. You... You hope to find my kindly self? Fools! You should have never you should never have come here, and now you shall never leave. Your powers protected you in the forest, but now you are in the heart of my power. Here you will all become trees, and you'll wither with the rest of us. Oh boy. Tread appeared. Okay, so, um, this boss fight should be absolutely pathetic compared to Saturos. And that is just partially because of the time that we're fighting him. But that's okay. We're gonna be taking this cautiously anyway. Granted. Ivan, use your guest. Use your sleep, Mia. Come on. Garrett, use Forge. There we go, everyone's attack power is up. He's using Sleep Star, hoping to put us to sleep. Not working. Okay, very good. Flint, and wrap him with Feverous Delusion. Increase party resistance, and... Eh, screw it. <laughs> yep. I'm just taking care of it this way, guys, just because... Um, you know, this boss is gonna be easy. I'm not worried about Ivan dying like I was with Sashiro's. Because this boss is easy. He is really darn easy. You just gotta be careful. Make sure to heal yourself if you take too much damage. Um, this round, we're just gonna spam him with summons. And he might die this round, guys. So, <laughs> yep. Ivan, use Atlanta. Show him his boss. Come on. Ramsey, Slady Ball, Slady Ball, Ramsey, Slady Ball, Slady Ball. I should not do that. <laughs> Narrate. Woo. Yeah, I'm also like, I don't know if I really showed that correctly in the video where I got that one, but yeah. Kieran. Do, 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 do. Yeah, I'm only gonna show it like once. Uh, the boss fight. So if I end up using like these summons like multiple times, I apologize. I'm just you know having to deal with it. Oh, there we go. I even killed him <laughs> with like his physical attack. There we go. I knew he would die pretty quick. I was surprised he survived last round. Okay, Garrett leveled up. All right. And a pathway up appeared. 
Oh. Mm. Oh. What has happened to me? Was I? I see. My heart was all but lost in my rage. And you defeated the evil within me? I thank you. I could not leave this world with so much evil in my heart. I am free now to leave the world without regrets. Goodbye, great warriors. Oh, man. Hey, wait a minute. We can't let Tret die like this. That's right, Isaac. We still need his help. What? Why have you not left me to my dying? Do you need something? You can say that. I turned the people of Kalima into trees? Yeah, 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 pretty much. Hmm, I must release them before they die with the forest. Oh. Oh. I can't do it. My power no longer reaches Kalima. People of Kalima, forgive me. Oh no. Tret's too weak. He doesn't have the power to save Kalima. No, we have to heal him. We can't let the people of Kalima die with the forest. Every life in Kalima depends on us. We have to restore Tret and save the people of Kalima. Let's go, Isaac. Got it. Okay, though, let's uh, climb up these vines. Um, do, 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 do. All right. So, through this doorway, uh, as you can see, there is Tret. Now, you guys may remember at the start of this part, I collected some of that healing water from Mercury Lighthouse. Dot, dot, dot. Okay. So, let's put it to use. Isaac uses Hermes water. Water of Hermes seeped into Tret. Yep. Oh. Yep. Oh. Yep. Oh. Ooh. Everything became all bright and happy. <clears throat> I feel a great power spreading through me. This voice, like, kills my voice, so I apologize if I'm, like, coughing and stuff. <laughs> yep. Hmm. Life flows within me once again. Tret. As you have recovered, so has our forest. I'm sorry to have worried you so, Laurel. And you, young ones, didn't you have a favor to ask of me? Yeah, you could say that. Yes, Tret, you must turn the people of Kalima into humans again. Yes, that's right. I must hurry. Oh, man. Yeah, so this is why I came here first. Also, there might be some lag. <laughs> that should do it. The people of Kalima are cursed no more. Tret did not always possess this horrible power. It only started when the strange, ge strange gemstones fell from the sky. Gems from the sky? Do you think he means the Synergy Stones? Maybe. You really think Synergy Stones caused all of this trouble? Well, you got a better idea, Garrett. I was indeed angry the people had laid waste to my forest. They had even taken their axes to me. When those gems fell into my branches, then all of a sudden, my fury overwhelmed me. I was lost in anger. The gem reached me when I was filled with sorrow. Our actions spoke our heart's desires, but we had no idea. Those gems twisted my anger into a force beyond control. Have any of the saplings been transformed by those stones, Tret? No, only the elder trees were affected by the falling synergy stones. There are others that this happened to? So the same thing could be happening elsewhere. 
You must have fought many monsters on your way here. Those monsters. Maybe they were just animals that were... Oh. Once they were pure of heart. Vroom. The, those gems have brought a great evil to the world. Yep. Whoop, whoop, whoop. Uh, prepare for lag. <laughs> oh, Laura, you are given powers too? <laughs> Not yet. Different from my own, but stemming from the same source. <laughs> Question. Laurel, what in the world are you doing as you ask Tret? I'm just saying, Ivan. Wait, you will soon see. Oh, the lag. I, I think this is the emulator, not like the thing, but... Did you see, Laurel? It's true, even the animals have become monsters. And beyond the river... The river that feeds our forest? Yes, an evil force has risen up to the south of that river, of the river. Will you be heading across the river? Probably. Probably. That area will only grow more dangerous as time passes. If you must go, you'd better hurry. Okay. And, uh, yeah. <laughs> oh, you are- I owe you a great debt. You have saved Kolima, the forest, and me. May your roots dig deep and your branches reach high. Okay. Oh, my throat. <laughs> that voice. Tret, I hope to never voice you again. Until a later point. So, anyway, we're going to use retreat and leave the forest. Because quite honestly, yeah. Seems like the best option. And, uh, there we go. So, yeah, and if we head over to Kolima Village, we will be able to talk to some of the people there. Um, but yeah, I think this part has gone on long enough. It's probably gonna end up being around 30 minutes, so yeah. I thank you guys for tuning in to this part of Golden Sun. It's a little bit longer than usual, but I hope you guys enjoyed, and I will see you in the next part where we head in here, and then head south across the bridge. So I hope you guys have a great day, and I'll see you then. Alright. Bye.